Hi, this is Kenny Dietz with FightHealthTV.com. I'm here with Kohai Suganuma. Is that how you say? Kohai Suganuma. Yeah. yeah. Um, how was your training leading up to last night's fight? Um, I had a really good training session. Probably the best I've ever had, in, um, maybe ever, for uh, MMA. Uh, I was training with um, Pops, uh, Walter Carvalho Sr. And also I was training at uh, BJ Penn Academy. Uh, basically, training with a couple friends, uh, about 195, 200 pounds. So, um, Rob was the one pretty much organizing the practices. And then I had two partners, um, mainly Landon and Daniel. One was more kickboxing, one was a wrestler. So really good all-around training. Hard training, lightest I've ever been. How was, how was some of your thoughts of last night's fight? You know, putting the Russian down, were you surprised? Um, Basically, I knew from the beginning that his stand-up was good, you know, and his ground wasn't that good. So basically, I wanted to put him on the ground. He knew that I was going to do that. I knew that I was going to do that. Obviously, did a lot of practice to avoid the takedowns. Um, anybody out there who doesn't know, uh, if you ever fight a wrestler, what you want to do is you want to circle. You, you don't want to come forward. You don't want to go straight back. That's exactly what he did. He, he had really good defense. I tried to take a shot on him once, and he uh, defended it really well. So. Right there, I, I knew I was going to have to change the game plan, so that's when I started doing some leg kicks. And the next time, I dropped my level and I came in, and I guess he thought I was going for a shot. Overhand right caught him, because he wasn't expecting the, the punch. And um, I believe it's November 6th is your next fight? Yeah. And that's with uh, the, the gentleman from South Korea, am yeah, I right? Sang Lee. Yeah, Sang Lee. Yeah. Um, what are your thoughts on that fight? Um, you know, I didn't know anything about him before this tournament, but he, he's a veteran. He has something like 20-something fights. He fought uh, Fedora Emelianenko's younger brother, who's also a pride veteran. Uh, he's, he's got a lot of experience. He's a really tough guy, and I'm looking forward to it. He also fight less, uh, He also fought last night. What are some of your thoughts of his fight last night? I, I didn't see the fight, so I'm not really sure, but I, th I, th I think it was a unanimous decision, so... He, he must have pretty much dominated, so I'm gonna just have to check out the video. Okay. And um, how did you feel last night fighting in front of uh, excuse me, fighting in a big crowd as it was last night? You know, it's always great to fight in front of a lot of people, especially a lot of people that support you. And you know, I, I was I was pleasantly surprised. A lot of people were screaming for me, and that always feels great. And is there anything you would like to say to your fans? Uh, yeah, just thank you and keep watching because uh, this is the beginning. Well, thank you for your time and uh, good luck in uh, your next fight. Uh, thank you, bro.